Hello, welcome everybody to the stream itself. Welcome on in. We're getting yourself started here. I just ended up replacing our drivers. Hello, Timeline. Hello, Johnny. Welcome on in. We're getting yourself started here. We just replaced our new drivers. We have Danny Ricardo as our first driver. The uh, Porter for our s second. And then we got Jack Dodole and as our reserve driver. So, let's see. Driver sounds... Yeah, they are. The two drivers are from FP2. These two are FP2 drivers. The only one is an F1 driver is this one, Daniel Ricardo. So, we are going to hit to Austria, and we're going to get to see if we're going to make the good difference. This is Daniel Ricardo's home track. Let's see if we can make a difference here. It's wonderful to be back down under for the Australian Grand Prix. There may be several street circuits on the F1 calendar, but this unique lakeside layout is like none other. High-speed sections snake through the heart of Albert Park, just a few hundred meters from St. Kilda's Beach. Albert Park is a deceptively easy track to learn, but it's just as easy to make a mistake around its walled sections and gravel traps. The street circuit is high downforce and just as heavy on brakes as it is on tires. Will beginner's luck play a part this weekend? There's a new driver at the wheel for how. So, let the weekend begin. Thank you, Third Jam, for the lurk itself. Let's see, timeline says... I'm not into racing games at all, just asking any thoughts on Starfield. I actually don't have Starfield, actually. Yeah, I don't have Starfield. So, yeah, I don't actually have it at the moment. I feel decent. Oh. Hmm. That might be something. So. Let's see here. Let's gonna see what I'm gonna do here. Let's see. These dry tires. You go up to level 30. Go for 25 laps. Okay. Let's see. So this requirement and need me to bring this eight thirteen seven point three three fifteen bring that up by one and then sixty five. But yeah, it's probably an idea, but is there any other games that I could get myself so I could get familiarized with that timeline? Because I'm not... I haven't played it before, so... Is there any other genres that comes close to it or something? So... Thought I would ask. Let's get on track. Maybe. I haven't played that either. No Man's Sky, I have not played that before. And radio check. Radio check confirmed. Yep, radio is good, Dick's good. Good for me too. Radio check. Go. No. Let's go ahead and get on board. Danny Ricardo's at the wheel of this one. Of his number three is on the side of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit.
Yeah. Virtual safe. Cars crash, disable and track. I can hear the excitement in your voice. I'm worried because I've got... Oh! Lewis Hamilton went into the wall! Collision course. BSC. What's going on out there? Race command, give me a... Let me see the video footage. I want to know what happened. In the wall, 15. There's a lot of debris everywhere. What? <laughs> oh, I'm surprised. Surprisingly, it's not my drivers. It's not my drivers, surprisingly. A little bit on the cold side on tires. Because we're under virtual safety car. Are we okay on temperatures? It's on cold. Virtual safety car is ending. ending. We got to warm up those tires, people. So Lewis Hamilton just lost off the track itself and went off. All okay from my side. Okay, okay, okay. Oh wow, that's an excellent good hit. That's my technical data coming to good action here. That's good that my data seems to be still active still. That's what I like, that mine is still pretty good on my active data here. Let's see here, if I end up doing that. So I gotta wedge this thing up by 5, bring this up to 75. And that should give me the optimize itself. We're gonna put a new set of softs on there. the balance let's see how's your setup eh decent <laughs> reason why I get scared because when my last driver said I had they wreck they damaged the car they didn't even put the effort to the last minute when everybody was already at their top performance. Let's see. So I'm going to need to drop this down to 25. This one surprisingly got to go to 90. Stays the same. Yeah, it stays the same. This one goes up by 5. And new set of solves. There we go. Go on track. <laughs> you gotta warm up those tires, Danny Ricardo. They're not gonna warm up by themselves. You just got on track. Not a lot of rubber on track. Now you're getting them up to 10 a little bit. Come on. You got to get them in temperature. But look at Danny Ricardo. He has it already in fifth place.
Let's see. How does the car feel? Everything's pretty stable. Nice one, guys. Copy. Copy that. We still got time to fix what we need to fix. Okay. So he needs his adjustments to that's optimize. That's optimize. So we went down to good. So great. That was so great. This one needs to go up by four. Thirty and ninety five. Yo. They put Jack Dodo hand out there and it seems to be not sure. He was he that's the reason why he's my next That's the reason why he's my reserve driver and not my main driver. He doesn't have too much good feedback, but he is trying to work at it. So, let's see, dropping in now to two. That one's completely down to 70. That one's down to 20. Okay, since I don't have a lot of laps to run, maybe in less than 20 laps, see if we can get this setup going. But how are you doing, Timeline? How are you doing, Johnny? Hopefully your day is starting off good, or you're, you're doing all right. Been angry at first. <laughs> well, you know you can't survive too often. Okay, that's the checkered flag. Okay, let's see. We're gonna still stick with the softs. We're still gonna be running it at 25 laps. Yep. All good. Okay, green light, green light. Okay, and we're going to see how our driver is going to do. the car feel optimal here we go all fully good setup we optimize it at the highest possibility We're still in those top average areas, so we're doing decent. 
Doesn't mean we're doing perfect, we're just doing decent enough. <laughs> That's definitely something. Does everything feel okay? Negative. You say it's good, but that's not good. <laughs> that's bad. Let's see that one went to three. That one went to bad. Went to good. Went so optimal. Okay, that's gonna be a big, huge adjustment. One forty. Bring that all the way to full wedge and bring that down by one. And that should adjust it. 26 laps. Just barely in that window marker. Yeah. Has gone on track and improve. I'm hoping Danny Ricardo could definitely make some improvements in what we had before. We didn't have very much good improvements with our former drivers. Yeah. Could go with the, let's see. Yeah, we could run a medium. Pretty lamps. Or just switching tires. We see traction getting worse. How is the day? Yeah, to confirm. Come on, get that last technical knowledge. That's what you need. Anything we can help you with? Ah. Uh. Now it's the other way. Hmm. Let me use that set. Only if I would have got another F1 driver, but a lot of them don't want to. They hired into us. I was surprised that Daniel Ricardo wanted to sign with us, but we got him with a good contract. the flag. Check the flag. He 
He's not very confident with his setup. We're gonna have moderate rain, really? Ugh. We have to have rain. Rain. Of all times to get rain, it's right now. It's broken! Anti sword! It's off. Back! Let's get on track. Oof. Who jumped the gun on us? Was it a Toro Rosso? Yeah, this is home. Yep, it was Toro Rosso. We are on a slower pace, so. Yellow flag, crash, crash, crash. Yellow flag. Penalty, penalty. Oh, come on, that has to make your setup. Oh. Ninety-five. Let's go ahead and try this. Not very much of a setup. Twenty. Because it's not very much adjustments we got to do. It's very little. It's almost like little here, little there. It's not what I was expecting, but that's what we have. Ugh. Yeah, we are using the hard compounds, but we'll be able to use it during the race if we get dry condition. Virtual safety car. Are you serious? That's affected there. Are you bloody serious? Are you bloody serious? What did it do? And there's the car. Oh, come on. To pick themselves up after that. Bloody hell! Porsche, you were the newest driver from FP2. You were supposed to be the one replacing the former drivers, and now this is what you're pulling out? Be it's the ending. 
Yep, understood. Welcome on in, DC. Ugh. Thank you, DC, for the attack itself. Yeah, we're just so far finishing practice three. So far, our newest driver from FP2 already wrecked into the wall. Ugh. I thought he was going to do better than our former drivers, but it's starting to prove me wrong. I assigned new dr driver, Danny Ricardo, was the one that replaced the bag that said. Oh my golly. Can't believe it's already ruined this much. Let's see here. Send him back on track. He didn't even get a good lap time, the new driver. He still ended up wrecking, still. And I still need new parts coming from the factory itself. I still don't have those new parts, still. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm being aggressive. Sketch, Pokemon in. I know I'm being a little aggressive, but I'm just getting attacked. That's the chicken <laughs> just can't win. <laughs> First time chatter here. Yeah, it's hectic. I oh, I'm trying to do better, but I seem to be falling backwards. I'm doing all right. Just trying to win. Welcome everyone to qualifying. Trying to survive. Should be a good one. These days, it's a much faster layout here at Albert Park, and teams need to focus on getting high and medium speed cornering right to set a good qualifying time. Now, Karoon, you and I were actually just talking about that man there, Max Verstappen. How do you think he'll be feeling today? Thanks, Gatch. Good after their fast lap times in practice. Confidence can do great things for a driver, so I'm excited to see how they handle qualifying. Well, we're certainly ready in the commentary box. The drivers are getting ready down in the pit lane, and it's time for qualifying. Yeah. Ugh. 
The former drivers that I had, I had to fire them. They wrecked the car. I got this new team drivers and... Are you serious? Oh my gosh. You, you broke everything. <laughs> he broke every single part. Every single thing. How much is a car worth? <laughs> Emergency manufacturer? Just one component. One component. Quite a bit. Ugh. Luckily I didn't. I made a lot of those. Side pods. Made a lot of those. Under flooring. We need to... We got that one replaced. Suspensions. It's quite a bit for what it is. But it takes quite a lot. What did you do, Johnny? See, I each one of these. If I wanted to get a new air box, it's just that much just for one component. See, I want to have an extra lap. One extra lap. Lock down with the tires. Ugh. Go on track. Okay, it should be green. Green light, green light. <sighs> but it does cost a lot more this time around. <laughs> Xcloud, w well, come on in. You can, please. Yep, understood. And try and get some brake temp before you start to push. Copy that. Stay negative on the delta. Mode in, please. Mode in. Okay, welcome in. Welcome in, in cloud. Hopefully you're doing well. Box, box for slam, box for slam.
Okay, let's get back on there. Did you disable my whole entire sound alerts? Johnny, did you disable all my sound alerts? didn't work. Well, you're the one, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, you did, Johnny. Okay, gap is good. Good to go. Okay. Clear ahead. Yeah, okay, so let's just start the lab. Oh boy, Johnny, did you have to mess things up? It's my own. Now, uh, let's see. So, uh, P4 in the moment. No heroic that time looks pretty competitive. We're in amongst the the pack. Mode in, please, mode in. Okay. I, th I think it's working. So, you're currently P7. Lap time is uh, good. So, let's press in button, press in button. Copy. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Sound is working again. There we go. Sounds are working again. It's broken. Anti sold. It's off. It's broken. Anti sold. It's off. Yeah, Johnny. Can you please be careful, Jonathan? Can you build it? Well, he, he did end up unbanning. He just needs to unban that's the one. I don't need to unban all of them. There is other ones, so. <sighs> We're good on. We did pretty good on the course itself. We're holding P. Or in piece seven. <sighs> well, he already took care of it already. 
The main one is definitely unbanned. Use those ones. Johnny hey, Dragray says, Gee, I look like a ghost with no emotions. Eh? <laughs> well then, um, da da da. Stay negative on your delta. And mode in, please. Mode in. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Um. Did not expect that one. Whoa, red flag. Red flag, red flag. Red flag suspensions. Now here, we're it's taking broken. stone six. And Whoa, that's brakes. It's off. Fuck. That's the moment of impact. And the car leaving a bit of paint on that barrier. And that won't do their confidence any good. Thanks. Well, I didn't see very much of it other than any the wall. was happening, the crew in the garage could do nothing but watch on. Uh We'll switch tires. Oh now. We gotta get some good lap times. Dikes. Okay, mode in. Ah, oh, you serious? You're currently P9. Okay, press in button. Press in button. Ah, uh, Danny Ricardo's out. Copy. Ah, uh, my one driver's out. Well, that should be the green light. Oh, boy. Of course, your confidence is high. Our newest driver is the one that wrecked everything earlier during practice. And now he's coming back as the only one that survived through. He did not press improve. In button, press in button, and we will box now, box now. Copy. Yes, he's the newest driver to F1. He's an FP2 driver, which he's one driver below from this position. So... I wreck everything next. <laughs> um hopefully not. Welcome to race day. And before we get down to it, last minute checks are being made. Albert Park often seems to set teammate against teammate. From Hill and Villeneuve dueling for the nineteen ninety six win to Bottas beating fellow Mercedes driver and pole sitter Hamilton to the win in twenty nineteen. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. 
Exciting choices lie ahead then for the teams and their drivers here in Melbourne. So let's see what happens. Oh boy, let's see. Oh, hopefully it's not going to be half trip. Oh, see when is the rain supposed to start? Oh, um, I'm gonna start on this. I'm gonna start on the. That's exactly what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use that one. No. Then we're gonna start with the intermediates. Okay, let's go ahead and fill it up. Let's go ahead and get on track. The fans here in Melbourne are all set, as are the drivers, heading into 58 laps around Albert Park. And we certainly know what Max Verstappen is capable of. Second row of the grid lining up third. That's a really strong chance of good points or even a podium here. But remember, anything can happen in Formula One. And it's lights out and away we go. Brace yourselves for the Australian Five single red lights. And it's, and it's lights out. out. And the way we go. Okay, up a boat push. Okay, understood. Floor it. Floor it. Come on. Come on, Ricardo. Let's get it. Let's pick up the pace here. This is your home track. Show them what you got. Come on, Ricardo, let's see what you got. Come on. Hamilton in front of you. Just keep pushing. Yeah. Placing the driver seems to be doing very little effectiveness than what I have. Come on. Hello, oh, Sparky. Sparky, welcome on in. DRS enabled. Copy. You're currently P9. 
A Williams in front, huh? We got a Mercedes and a Williams in front of us. We gotta get some upgrades from the factory. That's for sure. Oh, that, that Alpine is really getting right behind us. What did you do? Maybe get this race back to us somehow. You let Hamilton buy you? Come on. Get in there. You're stumbling. He got DRS he could use. He got DRS, ERS system, full throttle on the gas pedal. What are you hesitating? Hey, come on. Get in there. Ah. How's it in your view? Ricardo? The race is still early. No! Oh! <laughs> that was really close. Sheesh. I almost ended up saying that they ended up wrecking into me. Sheesh. That would have been something. Ugh. <sighs> Let's see. So we do have rain that's inbound, but it's not for quite a few laps. Not until closer to lab. Lab 15. Well, Johnny, you we know you're here. What is going on up there? Darp, well, come on in. Hopefully you're doing well, Sharp. That's good. Hey, Sharp, when will be the next time that we can actually chat about so we could get yours set up so we could actually start doing 
our side project that we were discussing. When will be your next available timing to do it? That's what I'm basically asking. I know I asked you in uh, chat itself, but you never responded to me yet. Just trying to sort. Oh, you're trying to. Oh, you're trying to get one yourself then? Oh, okay. I didn't know what you were doing, so. You, because you didn't respond to me, I thought something went wrong, so I didn't. So I wasn't sure, so. Yep. This is my place. That's good, Sharp. <laughs> it's good to hear. Yeah, because I was a little worried when you didn't respond to me, so... <laughs> you know we were fidgeting with that one day. Come on, stay on the outside, outside, one inside, come on. Yeah, <laughs> it's already sharp. As long as everything's all right, that's good to know. Because I was getting worried, Sharp, when you didn't respond. When I send you, like, three messages and not one response, it sort of gets me a little worried that something's happening. So... Let's see. Okay. Um, alrighty. Yeah, come on, Ricardo. Keep pushing. Here, as to the outside, they have the inside. Yeah. 
Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to be getting rain here real soon. According to the technical data, we're going to be starting off with heavy rain. Everybody's going to start off with probably heavy. <sighs> so it's going to be heavy rain for the first half, then intermediates, then a heavy. Yeah, we're going to have to use... Hmm. This is going to be a mixed strategy. There's both of the Haas team, and they're both trying to, trying to defeat this one Mercedes. Come on, let's make it up. Box window is opening up this lamp. One on the inside, we sandwich a Mercedes right in down in the middle right there. One on the left, one on the right, a Mercedes right there. We got them sandwiched right in between us. Both of the Haas drivers are both in the middle of there. And oh, he failed to get across through there. And both of them have DRS systems and they're going to go down the straightway. And we both passed the Mercedes driver with both teammates with each other in front. Now that's what I least expected, but it became amazing. Mercedes driver getting defeated by the Haas team. That's amazing. Box window is open. So four minutes we'll be getting oh right now we're supposed to be getting heavy rain. Drivers may prepare for immediate switch into let's see. We gotta really think about if we're gonna switch to wets or we're gonna switch to intermediates. All of us are on the softs, so our pit windows are already open, but we're holding off until the last moment for us to end up switching those tires. Our driver up front, which is the Ferrari, as well as the Red Bull team, will tell us what we're gonna be doing. They're basically keeping the pace of the vehicles up there, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to be doing. It's either we're going to box or we're going to continue on. Unless if the DRS detection zone gets disabled, then we switch. Let's see. Hmm. 
Rain is in, rain is in. Prepare for wet condition. Everybody's waiting for that rain to fall. Six seems pretty much less than a minute before the rain comes down. Will the front runners will be switching or no? And we're starting to see rain coming inbound. Really, you think I should stay out? Um, I'm going to go against my better judgment and I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in for this lamp. I'm going to come in. Because right now, uh, still too early. Ugh. The tough call to make. I could get him on the wets, but then I will lose time. Pit Road's going to be busy here. And we didn't take the advantage of opening now. And Hamilton went into the pits itself. You're coming in. Yep. All boxes up. We're going to box sprinters. But will the drivers that are in the box come out? And I thought so. Instead of going for a wet, they went for an intermediate. Let's see what the other drivers do. Pit road's going to be busy. <laughs> I follow the judgment what you said, Johnny. And I guess it bite the bullet. And now I'm pretty much a little bit behind. Damn, the race course is damn. DRS has been disabled. DRS has been box, box, box of slam. Come on! Get that thing in there! Okay. Um, alrighty. Very sorry, mate. Okay, there'll be a warm up phase with this tire. And racing at the exit.
using full throttle on the fuel. Danny Ricardo has way too much fuel still on board. Ugh. It's like people are warming up their tires a little bit more to be on the aggressive side. I probably should do the same here. Okay to push. Take the pace back up. Yep. You warm those tires a little bit, so now pick up the pace a little bit. Come on, catch up to them. Come on. You gotta get up there. We're gonna have to deploy. Push at the moment. Okay, understood. Okay, both of us. We gotta start pushing this up to the front. Come on. Start pushing it now. Come on. You can see the other drivers start pushing. Push. We need to go throttle much more. Ugh. Oh boy. They're starting to get away from me. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh. 
Okay, you're starting to burn up. The, you're starting to burn up the tires. Yeah, just go a bit slower. Let's go charge on, please. Copy. We got to use a little bit less battery now since we used up the majority of it during these past few laps. Now we gotta bring you back down. Slow down now. Yep, understood. We just need to get one of these drivers just so we can get the one point for our team. If it stands this way, let's see. Yeah, we had to stay in front if possible. We got to stay in six if possible. So, that's our goal. We got now a sprinkle rain. Okay, charge is full. Charge on. Copy, copy. Still early in the race, still.
So we're definitely going to use up our charge again. Cloud push, cloud push. Let's go. Come on. Seems we keep getting farther away. Come on. You got all this battery, start using it on them. Aye, aye, aye. Like we're just short. Come on, right at their doorstep. Come on. Quite a bit of electricity being used, but yet you're still not any closer. You're still at the same distance. Come on, close the gap. Close the gap. Only if there was a virtual safety car, even a safety car, so we could actually get everybody rounded up. Whoa! Look at that! Let's see what happened there. It's broken! Now we're watching Esteban Otto. It's off. Things are all right Back. here. And the car just locked. It was just unable to do much about it. Oh. Charge on. Yep. Now that we got that. Charge on. <laughs> Charge on. Copy. Ugh. We're now in 10th. Now we gotta hold this position until the end of the race. That's all we gotta do. These two are fighting with zero points. We're trying to fight for one point. All we're fighting for is for one measly little point. Ugh. What a race. 
rainy day. We just gotta keep... Even though he's our newest driver, he has to start pushing because these are not normal FP2 drivers. Charged off. This is F1. You gotta be able to know when to push and put some pressure onto it. You got a heavy contract, start using it by showing yourself to prove that you should stay. He's still hiding behind a McLaren still. Well, Hamilton is just pushing right up the front. And we're in no man's land. We're just sitting out in the middle of the open cold road. Ugh, come on. We gotta get something out of this. Neutral. Your neutral confidence, no damages to anything. He's very high confidence, no damage. <laughs> Come on, Hamilton in front. Only if we got some new components from the factory would definitely be helpful. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep saying that, but it's just so close, but so far away. Just don't know. What, Johnny? You're trying to dance it off? We haven't got the celebration yet. We still have a long way to go still. We still have about 25 laps to go. Ugh. Hamilton's in front. Pretty much using average tires use. So, 
Not very much has been going on with tire usage, but more rain is going to be coming in. With the more rain coming in, then that means that we're going to be having to deal with... That means we could probably push more on the tires when it's wet more. So it's about 14.3 cells. We don't have a wreck yet. We could really use something to bring the field together. Here comes the extra ring. More rain on the ground. Temps are both matching up 77, 78, 77 degrees Celsius. Hmm. But just a matter if we're going to push. Hmm. Not very much is going on. We gotta play this waiting game. What, Johnny? It's just the same thing. Right now, I'm just waiting for any changes that I could do. But you can see here, Norris is getting overtaken right here. A battle coming through here, side by side. He got the left side, he got the right side. he got there and he overtaken him it's broken and he's still it's off
It's not broken, Johnny. You gotta stop using that one. It's not broken. You're almost tempted to make me take that one away. Okay. There we go. Now I add it. Now it's going to be a little bit more pricey for you. It's starting to get a little annoying when you keep using the same one all the time. It's broken. Come on, Jonathan. It's off. I'll bring it down to fifty, but there'll be a pause. So you can't play it that much. Yeah. Now you're trying to find other things now. Let's see, this is heavy rain coming incoming. Did a show let's see. Yeah. So we're going to be a full wet course. But I don't think anybody's going to... We only have a raid for t for four laps. But during that heavy rain. We're not pressing against the tires because we're not wanting to use them all up. Well, anybody box in for wet compounds, I wonder. I don't think so because everybody is still... I don't know. Right now, with it being heavy rain, moderate rain, then light rain. So it's only going to last. Guess we're gonna push through the heavy rain. We're not gonna box for our wets. There's no point because we're not gonna hold on to the wet tires for that long. I guess we could start using this. 
understood. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, even I'm making mistakes. Boat push, please. Boat push. Understood. It's nobody's doing with so we're pretty much we're screwing the wet compounds. We're just going straight on attack. Come on, Ricardo, you could use all that. Come on. We gotta get it up there. The more points we can get our hands on, the better. Come on. Come on. Charge on. Copy. The outside, the outside. you got into there and try to attempt to stay sharp and we can take it again Sheesh, any more closer he shut the door on us on that way. So we're going to try to go on his left-hand side. We're going to try to overtake. Hamilton's trying to fight us into the turn right there. He's still going to keep the outside. We're going to keep ourselves to the inside. And we're going to finally overtake him. But he's still got the inside again. But we're going to fully pass through him. And it looks like we've just finished passing through here. But here comes Hamilton again. Try to get us now on the opposite side. Oh my gosh. Switch in a harvesting mode. Charge on.
Hamilton's going to try to retake us because we took his position. As long as one of my drivers in the top 10, that's pretty much good enough. We're on lap 42, going to lap 43. You can see he's in no man's land. Charge off. Another set of heavy rain. Neutral on. Ugh. So right now with us being in ninth position, we're solding strong, but so far we really want to push to get to the Alpine. Right now I'm already pushing with already with the Mercedes behind my back already. So you can see everybody's all over. Our other driver's right here. We're right here with Hamilton. Sheesh. North spec here. Look at that. He has a lot of ways, so I don't think he's going to make it to that one. 15 laps to go. 15 lap warning. Now we cannot make any mistakes now. We are at a critical moment. We cannot make mistakes. Simple mistakes. We're in the closing laps already. I don't want to go chasing after the Alpine, but something tells me I want to go after it, but I don't have the, I don't have the battery to end up constantly doing that for the next couple laps, because I got a Mercedes behind me, because if a Mercedes decides to engage me, I want to be able to strike in front. But if it does come to me, then I'll take the opportunity, but right now I'm not going to push my way to just get a few extra inches when I can lose a long mile due to me using up all my energy.
<sighs> Look like we're not losing any time. I really would like to change these tires to guaranteed. Let me look at these lap times. Condition, tires. Let me see. Hamilton's right here. Oh, his engine's having trouble, as you can see. Ah. So he doesn't have the horsepower or the battery. His battery's been slowly going away. Did he even bother? He didn't even bother. Wow. Okay. It's your choice. He's guaranteed he's going to replace it, and it's not going to be that easy again. Okay. Hamilton's really trying to... This is why I didn't want to push too much. Now he's pushing the pressure now onto us. Yep. You can see he's starting to push the pressure. His tires are being used up right now. Sixty two percent. He's two percent lower, but he's trying to use it right now. For us, we're trying to conserve as much until we reach to the end of it. We got ten laps to go. Right now, Johnny?
Come on. So, uh, no matter how much horsepower we're giving this thing, we're still not getting close to that thing. Slow down now. Kind of we need to back off. Copy. Yeah, we really used our battery up pretty good. We beaten up our battery. Charge on. Okay. Understood. Charge on. Copy that. Now we gotta get these temps to back down. Yes, we were all decent around all close to 70 to 80. Now we're at 90 degrees Celsius. We're basically, we're cooking the tires right now. Even with all that effort, it's still not going to be close enough. Now we're trying to cool these tires back down to normal temperature. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, he's so close to that Alpine, I'm guessing. Is that an Alpine up there? No, he's not. He's up against a Ferrari. Charge is complete. Charge off. Copy. How's this track going to be? Uh, still. We've been going full throttle on fuel and we still haven't dropped very much. Let's see, it's 58. 
six lamps, I guess. Six to five more lamps still remains. Was that Leclerc back there? Yep. So we have Porsche that's all. So our driver two is already been lapped already by the Ferrari. So right now it's just Danny Ricardo that hasn't been lapped yet. Oof. Come on. Is that one behind? Somebody's ahead of him. So it is one of those. I thought I was seeing things. I thought it was another. F thought it was a Ferrari passing us already, but it was not. How many laps left? Um, five. Five laps to go. to go. Copy. You go, got your four lamps to go. The 
30 laps to go. You can see we've been keeping that Mercedes behind us, which is our main goal purpose for this. Now that we got that Mercedes behind us, they're going to try to go at us again. Two laps to go. Because right now, Leclerc, that's the Ferrari, is now catching up to us very fast. Like, he turned on the heat on everything. We're trying to hold as long as we can with this, so... Okay, two laps. Yep. Up, oh, race like control ended up alerting us. Oh boy. Now we really gotta get going. That Ferrari driver is starting to catch up to us. He's so catching up to us. We gotta go fast. I think it's time to engage. Would you agree? I think it's time for us to attack them. Let's go. Go. Push. I got a choir in front of us. Come on, let's get in there. They're right in front of us. Come on. Tire Thames is right off the rooftop right now. Come on, Ricardo. Let's get in there. And 
Are we going to make it in time? Come on. Nope. You got way too much of a car length than ahead of us. Ah. Oh. Let's check it back. Ah. Oh. The drivers make their way back to the pit lane, and there we've got Daniel Ricardo. And the monogast driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. Their first win of the season, and the team looking on will be very proud, I'm sure. Ugh. Well, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park, but it was a thrilling weekend here for us all at the Australian Grand Prix. Hey. Hmm. I would have liked to do better. Now, Karun, I'd be really keen to know, how do you think the Haas team will be reflecting on today's yeah. results? They didn't do too badly today. A pretty respectable outcome as far as they'll be concerned. But they need to keep pushing. They can't afford to sit back. Yes, yeah, so we're only in the third race. That's about that for this weekend here in Melbourne. Next time, the teams will be racing through the streets of another city. Join us in Baku on the shores of the Caspian Sea for the Azerbaijan. Johnny Dragray says, Boopy, what you going to do now? Johnny, I don't know. Right now, we're just trying to think what we're going to do. Well, let's see. Yeah, none of us even get close to it. Okay, we are definitely gonna... Okay. Well then. I'm definitely going to end up bending it right here, so let's see who's right out. So guys, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and rate out to this person. They're pushing for affiliation themselves, so let's see. Make sure that's correct. Hey. So with that in mind, guys, thank you guys for joining me here on this episode here. Thank you so much for everybody that has joined me here, as well as thanks for your follows, your subs, and everybody that has joined me here on this episode here. With that in mind, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.